Welcome to Shape by Faith, a special series led by health and fitness expert Teresa Rowe. Get ready for an entertaining and spirit-led adventure while learning ways you can become fit in your body, mind, and spirit. Now here's Teresa. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and welcome to Shape by Faith, where we shape our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. I hope you enjoy this upper body workout. You will only need a light to medium set of weights. Let's get started with the warm up. Start to cross your arms just in front of you, and let's add a hamstring curl to this. We want to warm up this body, get it ready for all these awesome exercises that we're about to do together. You know, God sent His only Son into the world, His one and only, not to judge the world, but to save the world through Him, right? All right, keep it moving, warming up this body, crossing those arms. Now remember, navel to the spine, right? All the way through this one, we can do this. All right, last one. Let's go ahead and pick up a set of weights. We're starting with the deadlift and an upright row. So place your feet about shoulder distance apart or you can bring them closer. Go ahead and hinge forward and then exhale, bring those elbows right up there. So we're working that upper back and that mid back area. A cheerful heart is good medicine. Isn't that so true? But a broken spirit, a broken spirit saps a person's strength and also their energy. So cheer up, right? That's the word today, cheer up. Read the word of God and let his word inspire you and encourage you and lighten up your heart today. All right, hinge over through those hips and then exhale, bring those elbows straight up one more time. All right, this next one, you just need one weight. I call this a dumbbell drop squat. Okay, so bring the weight in front of you, feet about shoulder distance apart. Bring the arm up and then squat and chop it down. I kind of like this one. So if you had a medicine ball, you would just throw it into the floor and then pick it right back up. And what do you benefit if you gain the whole world, but you lose your own soul, right? So let's keep our eyes on Christ, all right? The author and perfecter of our faith. All right, keep it going. This one, I can feel that heart rate increasing because of that chopping down and then lifting right back up. Use your hip flexors and sit down and back into your glutes. Let's do this a few more times and one more. All right, now go ahead and grab the other weight. You're gonna go ahead and bend. I'm gonna show this at the side a little bit. You're gonna bend and go into a single arm row. Just one at a time. Just take your time. If you wanna stand up, that's fine too. If you're bent like this, again, sit back in your hips and in your glutes. Just drive that elbow straight back. You know, it's impossible to please God without faith, without us believing in Him, right? So anyone who wants to come to Him we must first believe that God exists, right? And that's how we please God. Just really recognizing that God does exist, that He is the Lord of our life, that He created everything. He made everything perfect in His sight. All right, we're working these arms, working that mid-back, last one, and then stand up. I call this one the bow and arrow. So what I'm gonna do is split those legs a little bit. Now, to modify, just bring those arms out in front and bring that one arm straight back. Or you could do a rotation, just bring it back. Bow and arrow, right? This strengthens the arms and the shoulders and working on balance with this split stance. The tongue, oh goodness gracious. <laughs> the tongue has the power, it really does, of life in death. You know, we can bless someone, right? Or we can say some words that aren't real nice. And the word of the Lord tells us to say words that are encouraging and uplifting. Those who will draw people closer to Christ and not away from Him. All right, a few more times on this side. Again, really feeling this in this arm, in both arms actually. 
and then bringing those arms down. Go ahead and switch out the legs and the arms. Again, a little bow and arrow here, bringing that elbow back. I'm not ashamed of the gospel. I'm not because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, right? Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Uh, don't be embarrassed to share your story with others. It will help people, it really will. It will point them closer to Christ. All right, little shoulder work and arm work and just go at your level and your pace. All right, this is an upper body workout. So we're really strengthening these arms and shoulders and this back today as we keep that core engaged. Just holding our position here. Two more times. Let's do that one more time. Very nice. This next one is a bent over reverse flight. So I'm gonna show it at an angle again, okay? So you're gonna go down, hinge through your hips and bring those weights out and then back down. Just make sure you're not popping yourself up or forcing it to happen, okay? So exhale as those arms fly out, okay? Keeping that belly in. So let's set our mind on things above, right? Not on the earthly things. All right, I can feel this in that mid back. I definitely feel the balance challenge in this position. You gotta think about your posture and alignment and how you're doing the exercise and also how you're breathing, that's real important. Exhale as you lift those weights and then inhale as you lower them down. Let's focus our mind on things above, on those good things, right? Those things that are faithful and praiseworthy and true. One more and then stand it up. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. We're gonna work on the deadlift position. So you're gonna hinge forward through the hips, pull the belly in, keep that back nice and straight, and then bring those elbows straight back and then power the arms down. So again, what we're working on right here is that mid back area. So as your elbows go back, you wanna squeeze right in between your shoulder blades. Keep the knees a little soft on this one, okay? Be strong in the Lord. I love this scripture and in his mighty power, be strong in the Lord. And I speak that over each one of you today. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. All right, we can do this with the strength of the Lord, right? One more and then let's stand up. All right, this next one is a curtsy squat with a front raise. So what you're gonna do is step back, bring the arms to the front and then alternate those legs. So it's a nice little curtsy squat. I like this one. Make sure you're staying out of the knees. Sanctify them by the truth. In your words, O oh Lord, is the truth. So we are sanctified by the truth of the Lord, right? All right, again, be careful with this one as you step back, that you're not putting pressure on the knee, okay? And your navel's in, and you're having a great time as you're moving the body in the strength of the Lord, right? God is right here with us. He really is. You can praise God, pray, meditate on His truth as you move your body. One more each direction. Now on this one, we're gonna keep the legs really wide. And what we're gonna do is start this side lunge, just with the legs, just start right there. Now the arms are gonna move, okay? So we're gonna go outside, front, out to the side and down. Just a pattern here and working the shoulders a lot in this one, keeping that core engaged. I am the vine and you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Isn't that good news? As we remain in Christ, we're gonna bear a lot of fruit. We're gonna win a lot of people over to Christ. We're gonna point them towards Him. All right, keep moving. I'm feeling this a lot. Even though I have some light weights in my hands, feeling this a lot in the shoulders. Let's do this one more time. Lateral, front and down. 
All right, I'm gonna switch out my weights to a little bit heavier, just some fives. You use whatever you have right there. So I'm gonna bring the weights in front. You're gonna curl them up and then rotate down. So what I'm gonna do with this at the same time, side leg, alternating. It's kind of fun to do. Bicep curl, rotate, bring them up and down. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the word today, walk in the light, walk in the spirit of truth. Let God direct you. Let him show you which way to go. Working through these biceps. So bringing those arms up, rotating down. And let's do that one more time. This next one, you only need one weight. So we're working the triceps. So we're gonna bring the weight way back over the head. So what we're gonna do is just basically press that weight up, bring it back, press it, and down. How do you like that? <laughs> so we're gonna press it up and then bring it down. The light shines in the darkness, right? and the darkness has not overcome it, nor will it, right? Jesus Christ has already won. Pull it down and tricep. Let's do that again. All right, just keep moving through this. You're doing fantastic. And a few more working triceps. And we definitely are working these legs at the same time. Keep that weight back and one more. Very nice. Okay, go ahead and grab both weights. So we're gonna do a shoulder press. Just basically press up and down. You can choose to add reverse lunge or not. It's totally up to you. So I'm gonna sit back in the reverse lunge and press. Let's do that again. Or you can just stand in place. This then is how we should pray. This is how Jesus taught his disciples to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Isn't that beautiful? Our Father, who art in heaven, we praise your holy name, right? All right, keep going with the press, reverse lunge, or you can stand in position, maintain good posture and alignment, and I'm noticing heart rate's going up just a little bit. One more. Nice, okay. Now, this next one is a fly. You can simply stand and fly, or you can choose to use that other leg and reverse lunge, okay? So I'm gonna use that other leg, step back, reverse lunge and fly. God made him who had no sin. Jesus had no sin to take on our sin, right? So that in Him, we might become the righteousness of God. That's the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus had no sin, and He took on our sins so that we would be righteous. All right, feeling this through the chest, and of course that leg. And we're exhaling as we step back and fly. Again, also feeling this in the shoulders a little bit. And across that chest, one more. Very nice job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies on Shaped by Faith. Go ahead and position your arms out at a diagonal with your palms down, and then you're gonna rotate and bring those elbows right in. We're gonna add a curtsy to this just because I love the curtsy. Bring the arms out and curtsy squat, and then alternate your legs with that curtsy. This feels great to the arms. You can keep them lower if you want. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light on my path. The word of God lights up your life really does is you read his word you gain wisdom and knowledge and understanding it's just amazing the knowledge that you gain as you read the word all right let's do that one more on each side very nice now bring your legs up real wide 
So we're gonna work with our biceps. Bring the arms up, if that's too much, you can lower them down. We're gonna keep them out and working these biceps at a different angle. Really feeling this, even with light weights. And you wanna make sure you're breathing. Your posture's really good. He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and he forgave our sins. God's done it all for us. I mean, he forgives us. He bestows his grace upon us and his kindness. He tells us things that he wants us to know. He checks our heart. He comforts us. He strengthens us. He watches over us. All right, a few more of these. Let's do that one more time and bring them in. This next one is fast triceps. I like to go down into a little bit of a bent position, bring my weights at the hips and just start to kick them back. You can go as fast as you want or you can slow it down. I like to alternate the arms to really focus in on these triceps. Now, if you're in this bent position, stay back in the heels and stay back in the hips. My sheep, and we are called sheep, listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. You know, some people say that sheep are not real smart, but I think they are because they recognize the voice of their shepherd. They even recognize his face. I think that's pretty amazing. All right, keep it going. Working these triceps, one more each arm. Nice. I call this one the stop sign. I bring the arms up, hold right here. You can split your stance if you want or just stand in position. Bring the arms to the front, nice little rotation through the shoulders and bring it right back up. For everyone who asks, receives. And everyone who seeks, finds. And to everyone who knocks, the door will be opened. The door will be open. God comes to the door of our heart and he knocks. And it's up to you if you're gonna let him in or not. I remember the day I let him in. I remember it just like it was yesterday. And I opened that heart to him. And I'm telling you what, the weight of the world fell off my shoulders that day. Now my circumstances were still the same situation in life was still the same but that peace that entered my heart oh my goodness i want you to have that too let's do that one more time and last one bring the arms down we're going back to that chest fly but we're going to add a narrow squat with this so bring your palms towards one another lower down and then come up and go into a fly for you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus, right? You are all children of God. I'm a child of God, you're a child of God. And we go to our Father, just like a child would go to the best parent in the entire world, just trusting and believing that that Father is going to take good care of them because He always does. Lower down and fly. Feeling this through the chest, shoulders and legs, last one. Now what I'm gonna do is switch out the weights here. Grab just one weight. I love these. They're wood chops, okay? They're one of my favorite exercises for the arms and the core. Bring your feet about shoulder distance apart. Go down in a squat and then chop across that body and then back down. You can definitely modify it and bring that weight below your shoulder or bring it up. Let the message about Christ in all its richness, let it fill your lives today. Let Jesus in today. Maybe we need to renew our relationship with Jesus today, right? Just let him in. Say, Lord, I need you. Father, Take me over by your Holy Spirit. Come in my home, Father, in my heart, and take up residence. One more, chop. Okay, opposite side. Okay, same thing, 
Just be real aware of your posture and your alignment. Lower down, chop opposite direction. If God is for us, and we know that he is, who can ever be against us, all right? It doesn't matter what's going on in the world. God is for you as you trust him. Let him do the figuring out. You just be the faithful one, right? Point others to him. Tell about his goodness and his love and his mercy, his unfailing love, his unconditional love, and that there's freedom when we know Christ as our Savior. A lot of people don't know that. I think we take that for granted if we do know Jesus, but there's a lot of people that don't. So share your story. All right, let's do that one more time. There you go. Wasn't that good? <laughs> Coming up next, more inspiration on Shape by Faith. Let's transition down to the floor and work on that upper body. So grab your weights, whatever set you want, and let's lower all the way down. Now you can stay down here with your spine down or you can come up in this bridge. Bring both arms up and then lower them down and you can hold the bridge or you can move it if you want, okay? So lower down, inhale, working through the chest, exhale, also working through the shoulders, biceps a little bit in this one. Let us think of ways to motivate one another and to love one another, okay? So let's just think about the different ways we could do that. Every single person is unique and special. So ask God how you can help motivate them, right? All right, one more. Now let's combine the weights. We're gonna bring the weights over the head and we're gonna lower down. We're gonna come up into a bridge as we bring those arms out in front of us, okay? Let's do that again. Exhale, lift, working with the pullover, trying to keep those arms real straight and breathe through that. God blesses those who are merciful and who show mercy to others, right? He will bless you as you show mercy to others and bestow grace upon people, right? Don't cut them off. Give them more chances than just a couple, all right? God gives us a gazillion do-overs, right? So we need to do the same thing with others. All right, keep moving. One more, nice. Okay, now on this one, you're gonna bring your weight straight up. We're gonna work our tricep muscles. So bring the weights back and then extension up. If you wanna rest the spine, just keep it down. Or if you wanna lift up and work on those muscles in the hip flexors and glutes and strengthen that low back a little bit more, you can lift up in your bridge. May God give you more and more mercy, more peace and more love as you trust Him. All right, you should feel this in the back of your arms and you should notice your breathing. So when you lift those weights, you're exhaling. And when you lower those weights, you're inhaling, right? All right, I love this one. I love working on the triceps. I love all these exercises, but this is also one of my favorite exercises, tricep extensions. And one more, let's lower down. This next one, we're working on the shoulders. Bring the arms out. And what you're gonna do is just lift those arms straight up, engage those muscles and lower them down. So again, lift up and down. You can keep the spine down if you want. You can also work with the bridge. That's totally up to you. But if your spine's down on the floor, make sure that belly is pulled in, right? Let's work at living in peace. Let's work at that, okay, with everyone. Not with just a few people not with just the people we like a lot, but let's work on living in peace with everyone, okay? Let's ask God to help us with that. Lord, help us, help us, Father, to show love towards one another. Help us to pray for those, Father, that we don't necessarily like that much, and please forgive us, Lord. All right, keep moving. And one more. 
All right, we're gonna work on the shoulders more. Bring your palms towards you. You're gonna lift both arms up and then lower down. Let's do that again. Lift them up and down. Now I'm gonna add a bridge back to this one. I'm gonna lift up when the arms come up and lower down when they go down. Always be full of joy in the Lord. Always be full of joy regardless of what's going on. And there's nothing wrong with asking the Lord to help you with that. You know, there's some mornings and some days I just say, Lord, I need help with joy in my heart. I mean, I know you're there, but Father, please lift up my spirit, right? All right, feeling this in the shoulders and in the arms, you're working with the bridge. So we're definitely feeling this in that low back area. The bridge is one of the best exercises that we can do for the low back. And then we'll slow her down. All right, go ahead and combine your weights or place one down. This is a reverse curl, all right? So modified, we're gonna bring one leg back at a time or arms can stay down, all right? But what I'm gonna do on this one is, let's put the weights aside, all right? Bring the legs up into tabletop and then bring those hips back. Exhale back and then inhale lower, keeping those shoulders down. Just really feeling this in the belly, below that belly button. Just nice control through your body. Exhale as you do that. He is able once and forever to save those who come to God through him. God is so able to do anything and everything as you come to Him. All right, keep that belly button in, working below that belly button. Last one, and exhale, feet down. All right, that was good for the core too. Thank you so much for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the very best that you can. As we continue exercising and praising God together, He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and He breathed His Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe, healthy, and strong in your spirit, mind, and body. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith. Hi, I'm Teresa Rowe, and I believe that shopping is a ministry. The Shape by Faith shop offers many unique products and apparel that will be sure to make a statement that you are a child of God. These shirts and workout tanks are comfy, trendy, and offer a high level of modesty. Most important, the clothing is a great way to start a conversation with people you meet. Our most popular apparel is Warrior in Training, Born for a time such as this, prayer, coffee, workout, love one another, and fear not. But you can never go wrong with our classic Shape by Faith shirts, tanks, and lightweight pullovers. Shop shapedbyfaith.com for this and many other faith-based products. The website also offers encouraging columns, weight loss testimonials, blogs, radio, and television shows, and Shaped by Faith breaks. That's shapedbyfaith.com.